masterpiece of abstract. So I started doing low lines and then I took brushes like this and then I would just tap them around and then I would just swoosh them around and make stuff like this. And I also made something new which I added green and brown to make gray which is actually new. And if you add all these colors that I made together, it also makes a gray. So I added some gray. I put some gray in here and just swooshed it around. Um, like I say, I do this. Then I just swoosh it around. Oh, that's your dog. And then it kind of goes like that. That's. So apparently you can just swoosh it around and make lines like like I started with it and sometimes in school I'd use my pencil and it would look like it's 3D. Kind of, that's kind of what I did right here with the yellow because I, because for the yellow, I used this brush, which kind of made it, if I go like this, it would go thinner. And it'll go thicker and thinner. And it was cool. Well, what kind of brush is this called? Is this called a fan brush? I think so. That's not not correct. Right. Um, um, I, I think the first time that I painted was when I had to paint the Brassbeard Barber Shop, which, Dad, you can show them the Brassbeard. He's wearing a Brassbeard shirt. <laughs> and that was funny because that it was on Christmas when I, I think I first ever painted, and I painted the candy cane and pole well, for Christmas. Now, I just wanted to show you this ma masterpiece. It's a piece of art that I made, and I just wanted to show you it and talk about it. <laughs> okay, like and subscribe, and turn bells on for notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye!